So this pool here has yellow discharge coming from its ear, meaning that the ear canal is filled with waxy ear discharge. What was the poodle diagnosed with and how did the vet treat it? Let's find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. Ear infection in poodle. First, the vet asked the owner what was the complaint. Left ear. Left ear, okay. Left ear. Owner's got yellow discharge, but not smelly. Discharge from the left ear, yeah. which we can focus on it. How long already? To ask the About duration, two or? months, no, always clean the, the ear, then put the uh, ear drop. Mm -hmm. uh, Made in Korea one, uh, the ear drop. Okay, only the left ear? Left ear. Right ear, nothing wrong? Nothing. Has it been scratching? What are the signs? Scratching, sometimes scratch on the inside, a bit of a uh, uh, bleeding. Uh. Mm. No, bleed. Uh. Inside, got in, internal ear got slight blood. Blood coming out? No, blood. no, blood coming out. The blood stain the mm. cotton bud. Uh. Okay, so you're using cotton bud to clean the ears? Yeah, yeah. How about the right ear? Do you do anything? Never, never. And there's no problem? No problem. Okay, mm. so we compare the left and the right first during the examination and no scratching? No scratching. Only the left ear? Mm. It's being weighed now, so what's the weight? So normally we start by weighing the dog first. Dog. So now I'm going to take it over. I'm going to take the temperature to see whether this view will favor or not. Now this is the basic thing we have to do. The weight and the temperature. Mm. And check the heart also. Heart and lungs, the general examination first. Okay, it seems that there's no fever. Check the heart, the heart is okay. This dog is considered uh, thin. Uh. You can feel the spine. So the body condition score is uh, is considered two upon two upon nine. That means very th too thin. Uh. The dog is too thin. Okay. On at the time of examination, we have to record the yeah, yeah. body condition score. It's called BCS. Uh. Two out of nine, three out of nine, three out of nine is slightly thin. Two out of nine is thinner. And what, one out of nine, of course, is already very bones, everything can be seen. Okay, so now I check the heart first. Check the heart, quick check. Yeah. There's a heart murmur, so this dog has heart disease on the left side. Was there any coughing at night? Slightly a bit at right? time time. Uh, when you so play with the toy, you cough. Uh, not so bad, not so bad as other old dogs, okay? So heart is okay. 14 years old, uh, it's quite pale actually. You can see the mucous membrane. Uh. Pale. Uh. The, mm -hmm. the content is uh, a bit pale. Okay, see here. But the appetite is good, right? The is good, uh. tartar. The skin is a problem. Uh. By right, there should be a oroscope. And the dog should be muzzled, uh, muzzled. Although the owner said don't bite, but it's because of the pain. Uh. It bites because of the pain, not because of. I no need to show the. Eh. Just show the overall. No need to show the. Got pass, uh. Yeah, the. Discharge. Yeah, yeah, but it's not full of wax. Uh. It's quite deep in. The poodle was diagnosed with chronic otitis externa which is a long-term condition that causes inflammation of the external ear canal. Sit down. Now this is a normal ear canal, normal view, so I zoom in. And you can see this is the vertical canal, mm. which I put the horoscope in just now, mm. scoop in. Mm. Of course you can't go to the horizontal. horizontal because it's a new one. It's L-shaped, mm. L-shaped. Huh? Then when it reaches here, this is where the ear drum is now. Okay. Now the pain is around here, ulcerated, infected. Huh? This is the infected one. As you can see, there's blood, ulcers, redness. Huh? Uh -huh. And uh, so this is called the vertical ear canal. Vertical. Huh? And this is called the horizontal ear mm -hmm. canal because it's horizontal. horizontal. It turns horizontally. Huh? This is vertical, horizontal. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's, that's, that's all you need to know about the dog's yeah, ear canals. Know. You know, right? Mm -hmm. So there's full of blood. And so how did the vet treat this case? 
Treatment included ear irrigation under gas anesthesia. This video shows the cleaning ear irrigation of the dog. Now, first of all, I normally give a low dose of Zolotil 100 IV and uh, It gives low IV, 0.2 ml. Okay, and there's Zolotil. Then, then we wait about one minute. This is Zolotil 100. Take out the muzzle already. Muzzle is to take out in case the dog vomits. Yeah, so we took out the muzzle. Okay, I'll show the dog's face. No muzzle there. Yeah. Okay. No, turn the dog's, dog's head. Just use your hand to turn the dog's head. Yeah. Okay, there's no muzzle already. Now, normally we see the time there. Roughly about one minute. Then we get ready the oxygen. To one side, then they'll say, turn, turn the dog laterally. The dog is actually down already. One sweep down. So it's especially the lower parts, yeah. More towards here, yeah, more towards. Cute. Open, okay. Open circuit. Now give the gas mask. Mm. So give for about a minute or less. <coughs> we check the eyes blinking or not. The eye eyelids blinking? Yeah. So it's not ready yet. So tighten the push a mask closer to the nose. So now we plug the ear hair first. So there's no pain because of the anesthetic. The best is use a straight, straight forceps in, into the whole vertical canal, and plug, plug as much as we can. Now the owner has been cleaning the ears with steroids, so there's no inflammation, but also no no uh, cure. There's pus, ah. Ah, where? The yeah, idea complain of pus. Let me see. They take the cotton bud and check the pus. Now, the pass is normally due to ulcerations. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of pass. Okay. So, we do the left ear irrigation now. Yes, uh, now some vets are very uh, into it. Huh? Now, I wouldn't have advised it because I just demonstrate, but we are not going to do it because what happened is uh, some vets they like to, to, uh, uh, to twist. Now, then after that, they, they go inside. They put the ear drops and then they go in and uh, okay, don't do it. We just uh, this is very bad because sometimes the cotton pieces will drop into the horizontal canal uh, and uh, <coughs> and uh, the the dog ear drum may be ruptured. Now we just increase the dosage. It looks like <coughs> the dog is waking up. <coughs> okay, the about about ten. At 45 degrees to the entrance, but not really shooting in. Just 45 degrees to the vertical canal. That's the right way. Yeah. You, you need to have this. You need to give the water space to come out and, and all the dirt. So just pull up the ear, 45 degrees. You, you can see the. Debris, yeah? because it's yellow pass, yeah. Yeah, the pass is there. Try to flush out the pass as much as possible. We are doing the other side now. Now the best is to tilt the, the operating table because if you don't do it, the water will just stagnate on the surface now. Best position on top properly. We still give one percent maintenance. Now you can check the ear. They still allow your hair, even the faucet. With the other one, oh, yeah. So try and pluck the ear hairs as much as possible. Come this side. The ear hairs, I see. That's not we did the, the other ear, but we didn't do this side yet. Uh, normally you just go in, clamp and twist, clamp and twist, clamp and twist. 45 degrees to the entrance. Thanks, eh? So 
be a pain. Uh. Now we don't want the dog to be too deep. Too deep because the dog is 14 years old. Uh. We don't want the dog to be under too much anesthetic. Uh. Because we never know how to do. Then I just take the cotton bud and check. Check quite deep in the vertical canal. See if there's any bleeding or not. Up to this length. It's quite clean. Huh? A bit of pass, but that's all. Okay, turn over now. I'll check this side. So. Okay, I'll just check from here. Just quickly put in. I'll check from here. Your hand, hands off. No, just check whether there's any more pass or not. Okay, let's check. Now, as deep as you can, up to the end of the vertical canal. Huh? Okay, you won't, you won't affect the eardrum because the eardrum is on the, the other end of the horizontal, horizontal canal. I take it out and see. Very clean, you see? Not even a bit of pass. So it's okay, finish it with. After treatment, antibiotics and painkillers were injected into the poodle to reduce the pain and discomfort. Your jobs were also administered, and the poodle returned home after one hour. In conclusion, the final diagnosis of this case is chronic otitis external, which is a long-term condition that causes inflammation of the external ear canal. This was resolved via the ear irrigation, and the owner was advised to do regular ear cleaning. Ear infections are common in dogs with floppy ears like this poodle. This means that the ears of the dog flops downwards, just like this one here. Ear infections are also common in dogs with hairy ears, such as this schnauzer over here. This problem can be resolved by a ear surgery, namely lateral ear canal resection. This procedure involves the removal of one side of the external ear canal, which allows improved drainage and ventilation. Owners should also frequently clean their dog's ears while at home. Thank you for watching this Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video. Credits to veterinary surgeons at Topayo Vets, Dr. Seng Kong Yuan and Dr. Daniel Sing Zong Zhong. Special thanks also goes to veterinary nurses Judy and Kluna Sadi and Su Mon Lun and video editor and intern Janelle Tai. This video is done on 5th December 2018. For more information, head down to topayovets.com slash videos.htm Thank you for watching!